you very much for coming. We welcome you all. Uh, I hope that you had a wonderful Christmas last year. This is our first meeting. Um, I'm welcoming you now. Uh, I'd like to introduce our new spokesperson, Comrade Sasegani Mazzini. She's also our MEC for Public Works, Road and Transport. As you know, that the ANC deploys and uh, The ANC PEC had a meeting yesterday, a first meeting for 2017. Uh, our briefing is based on the outcome of that meeting. Uh, the Provincial Secretary will brief us on the outcome of that meeting. We would like to thank our important communicators in the province for honoring this invitation and compliment for this beautiful year 2017. The African National Congress in Bumalanga province held its ordinary provincial executive committee meeting for the year yesterday, 16 January 2017, at Entlazen District Municipality. The meeting received a political input from the chairperson of the province, which echoed the sentiments of the NEC January 8 statement to serve as our guide to action in the year 2017. It also received a report from the Provincial Working Committee, which gave a detailed account of the work done from the previous PEC meeting and the general state of the organization and its leaks in the province. The PEC meeting discussed a wide range of issues which included the importance of unity in our organization, the roadmap of ANC regional conferences, and our approach to the 54th National Conference of the ANC. The PEC resolved to continue with efforts of strengthening the unity in the ANC and amongst all the motive forces of the democratic revolution. It will continue with this important task of uniting the ANC because it deeply appreciates the historic fact that since its formation in 1912, the ANC has always been a symbol of unity and uniting the people of South Africa. This was succinctly put in the inaugural conference of the ANC by Comrade Pixikaseme when he said, we have called you Therefore, to this conference so that we can together devise ways and means of forming our national union for the purpose of creating national unity and defending our rights and privileges. The PEC firmly believes that the ANC can only be an effective tool for total political and economic liberation if it is truly united. It is only an ANC that is united which can inspire our people to be their own liberators and effectively discharge the task of creating a united, non-racial, non-sexist and democratic South Africa. We urge our members and structures to unite our organization both in speech and deeds. The PEC resolved to host the provincial January 8th rally on Sunday the 29th of January 2017 to celebrate the ANC's 105th anniversary and the life of our longest serving president, Comrade O. Tambo. We further agree that it takes a movement of a very special mode to achieve 105 years of struggle and this colossal achievement can only be best celebrated in Bombela Stadium, which is the biggest venue we have in the province for a gathering of this magnitude. Preparation for this rally are already on course and we invite all the people of Mpumalanga to join us on this day. The PEC also discussed the state of our municipalities, in particular the audit outcomes which they received for the 2015-16 financial year. We send a special word of congratulation to those municipalities which achieved clean audits which is Gangala District Municipality, Enlazeni District Municipality, and Steve Sweater Local Municipality. We also congratulate those municipalities on which audit outcomes have improved, like Msukalikwa Municipality having moved from a disclaimer, and we also note with concern those which have regressed. In an attempt to improve audit outcomes and improve service delivery, we urge all municipal council to speedily fill up critical vacancies like municipal managers and 
CFOs as soon as it is practical possible. The meeting also adopted a roadmap to regional conferences. The roadmap indicates that all regional conferences must have set by the 2nd of April 2017. And these conferences must be preceded by branch general meetings and it is required by the constitution of the ANC. These regional conferences must prepare our branches and membership for the policy conference, which will be held towards the end of June 2017. Commissions in these conferences must sharpen our comrades' appreciation and understanding of ANC policy, such that the province is able to make a meaningful contribution in the policy conference. The PEC also dedicated time to discuss the PEC's approach to the 54th ANC National Conference to be held in December 2017. The PEC unanimously agreed on the need to use that, that important gathering to unite and strengthen the ANC in order to regain the lost ground and improve our performance in the 2019 general election. The 54th National Conference must be used to reaffirm the ANC as an organization rooted amongst the people of South Africa and a credible champion of their hopes and aspirations. We condemn those who generate slates and are already making pronouncement on who must lead before the process of branch nominations begin. We instead encourage our structures and members to robustly engage in a debate on the type of ANC they want post the 54th National Congress and wait the formal nomination process of branches to begin for them to nominate their preferred candidates. Discussing names without the type of ANC we want is as suicidal as putting the cart in front of the horse. The PEC, on behalf of the people of Pumalanga, sends in sincere condolences to the family and friends of Mama Tandi Klasen a respected jazz singer and anti-apartheid activist. May a soul rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nopala. Thank you very much uh, for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day. The AEC wishes you the best this year of Oliver Tam.